Welcome, Destiny Christian Church. Uh, this is the five-minute devotional podcast that uh, tries to inspire you, encourage you, and and just uh, uh, help you along the along the way on, on the journey. And I want to talk to you today about faith is not the enemy of reason. And uh, for those who know me, uh, I tend to be a logical person because I, I, I study a lot. I'm a student. Uh, I'm not a scholar or a theologian. I'm just a student. I'm just a student. And um, and I always grew up as a Pentecostal, uh, being taught that the mind is bad. You know, leave your brains at the door and just worship Jesus and love Him and just believe whatever you know we tell you, and you'll love it. And uh, however, as I as I study the scriptures for myself, I realize that. God never throws out the mind in the scriptures because he created the mind. And I remember a professor in college once saying that God would never wrap a skull around your brain to protect it if he didn't expect you to use your, your mind. And, and then we have Romans 12, 1, right? You know, uh, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You can't change without your thinking changing. So God doesn't discard the mind. He renews the mind. He transforms it. But Here's the point I want to make today, that faith is not the enemy of reason. Faith does not cease to exist in the presence of reason. In fact, God welcomes reason and all the arguments uh, in, in the whole uh, idea. In fact, here's a scripture for you that, that is found in uh, Isaiah. Um, Come now, let us worship together, or let us reason together, rather, says the Lord. And... Um, and and so so you have this 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 idea that God is inviting His people to reason, right? He says, "Come, let us reason," and he he doesn't make any bones about it. He says, "I want to reason with you. Sit down with me and and tell me what is your what is your gripe, what is your beef." And so faith is the gateway to understanding. It's not, uh, and and reason is also a gateway to understanding, but not the gateway. So how reason was seen in the Middle Ages is very interesting. In the Middle Ages, reason was was not a bad thing. They didn't throw it out. The Christian Orthodox view, which is Orthodox, is like that's what the Church Fathers believed. That's what the standard belief was at the time. Their way, the way they looked at reason was that gaining knowledge during the Middle Ages was was to them that the, that faith is your lens and knowledge comes after. So knowledge and faith, reason and faith were kind of connected together and they use some fancy latin which i I can barely pronounce even though i speak spanish but a fides quarens which means faith seeking understanding and so faith does not throw away knowledge or, or or reason it embraces it there was another latin thing they used to say a credo ut intelliam i believe in order that i may understand and this is very key because it was saying that the key to knowledge is faith, not logic. And yes, there is logic, but faith comes first. You have to believe, and then you understand. But when, when, when these times, when this generation died out, right, and the Enlightenment came, where everything is based on logic, they threw out this idea and says, "No, you got to be, be able to prove it scientifically, or or else it's not real." And one of my mentors has since gone to his reward in heaven. Uh, he used to be a professor at MIT and Purdue University, and he had a team of engineers that he trained, and he trained thousands of engineers. And he would also he would always teach them a value that he said is is greater the greatest value that I'll teach you is this one. And he would say, your greatest asset is not your talent; it's not your ability to do calculus and all these things to do your job. Um, but your greatest asset is your ability to imagine. And what was he doing there? He was pushing them outside of the realm of just knowing things by logic and knowledge. He was saying, there's a realm that you, you have to leap to by faith. So faith and knowledge work together. And and this would be the ability to go beyond the wall between cold logic and the unknown, the part that leaves science scratching its proverbial head. And that's why, and, and as Pentecostal Charismatics, we have no problem believing in, you know, that, that logic is not the answer, right? Uh, however, God doesn't throw out logic either. So faith does not automatically throw out reason. And many biblical truths can be proven by none other than reason. And this is why uh, Peter 
said this in 1 Peter. He said, Always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. And we find that that uh, Peter said, Hey, make sure you know your argument. Know what you believe. Don't just you know talk to people about touchy-feely stuff, but show them why you believe what you believe. So the hard question is, is your reasoning, is your reasoning, does it exist? Or is it all emotion? And let me say it this way, and uh, I'm kind of jumping around in, in some uh, couple of notes because I, I may I may actually develop, develop this idea into a sermon at some point and talk about it. But in, in the scriptures, you have this idea of the logos, right? And I have a scripture for that also. Uh, the Logos, um, which is found in um, in First John, or I'm sorry, in, in the book of John, rather. And I don't even know if I gave it to you, that scripture, but... Oh, I didn't give it to you. Sorry about that. But I'm going to read it to you. But the scriptures talk us about the Logos, which is another word for reason, right? And the Logos is the scripture, First John, or, or John chapter 1, in the beginning was the Word, or the Logos, right? That's reason, that's logic. And the Word was God, and the Word the word was with God, and the Word was God. So the Logos, it has been said, is the divine pattern from which the material world is copied. The, the, the divine power of the cosmos, it's, it's what's behind everything. The divine purpose or agent in creation, and an inter- intermediary between God and man. Who is that? It's Jesus. Jesus is the Logos. So to say that reason has no place in it is to throw out Jesus, basically, when you think about it. So God revealed Jesus, his son, as the Logos in creation. And another scripture, John 1.14, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. So the Logos is that reason and wisdom that underlies the whole universe. It took on human form and became a human being named Jesus. So I want to encourage you today that Science is not the enemy of reason. Or rather, let me rephrase that. Science is not the enemy of faith. And faith is not the enemy of science or reason. They can work together in this world. That's why we need more scientists who happen to be believers in Jesus. We need more engineers and researchers who happen to be believers in Jesus. So until next time, check out the podcast on YouTube. And it'll be on Facebook. And also check out the church website for announcements and different events that are coming up. God bless you. So much uh, pleasure to be with you today. God bless.